even supposing time has stopped in his castle, the clock is still ticking. Today I take you on a tour back to the 17th century. This marvelous abandoned castle was once the home of an Austrian family. Everything from the past is left behind, including ancient documents from half a millennium ago. It felt like wandering through a museum. Today we take a look behind its forgotten walls and go in search of its hidden treasures. Welcome back everyone on the channel, welcome back. Today we have a new tale to be told. We are inside of a wonderful abandoned castle which seems to have been frozen in time. There is so many history inside this building. It's absolutely incredible. It's so interesting. It's a huge property. There are so many rooms, plenty of antiques, historic artifacts you are surely gonna love it. And we try to dig into the history a little bit, find out about the story about the people who lived there. And apparently the last residents actually were German people. Before that, there was a French family of Mr. Vincent. I'm not gonna say the surname to protect this property from any theft, any vandalism. It's absolutely amazing. And as you can see, I'm not with Raymond today, but I'm accompanied with another friend. Exploring and me, Arnaud, check him out. We've been friends since the very beginning. He's been showing me around and now I'm showing him around in France. And yeah, it's time for an awesome explore. So let's start and let's begin. So this was once it, the main door of this huge castle. And now it's just been blocked by lawn mires, gardening equipment, and it's barricaded with a big wooden bar. This is actually the first room. Have a look. There is a huge billiard table in the middle. Have a look over here on the wall. A lot of antlers, other pieces of taxidermy. And let's just begin with this painting over here. What I actually notice is, is that this is not one dimensional, but it's different layers. It looks very, very realistic. Like it's almost real taxidermy. And some of the feathers are actually real. And then I saw these things and I started thinking, thinking, overthinking, like what can it be? We think it has to do something with the time, with the sun, maybe also with astrology. 
I mean, it's literally all over the place. Have a look over here. There seems to be iron things inside as well. Oh, a mouse trap. <laughs> there is another device over here. And this looks like a clock. It could turn around. You could also spin it over here. So if anyone knows what this might have been, then leave it down in the comment section, please, because I would love to learn more about it. But I think it definitely was something with science and with the sun. Well, to be honest, this room, it is very beautiful, but it is one of the most messy ones in the complete castle. We're just gonna build up a tangent slowly and slowly, and it will get better and better. Wow, there's so many hunting artifacts on the wall. Also, the light there in the middle. And by the look of this room, you can clearly tell that they were willing and planning on renovation of the property. There are some bicycles over here. And have a look at all the letters. And then, right in the middle, the big white stove is a traditional French castle stove. So the French word for castle actually is chateau. This is a wonderful chateau. It's definitely one of my favorites I've ever explored. There is so many historic things. So make sure to keep on watching this video till the very end. I'm pretty determined that it will be a pretty long video, but it will surely be worth the watch. some more taxidermy. Looks like over here they would hang up some brushes and other gardening tools. <sighs> Look at the radiator. Over here are some other prints of castles. This is a huge castle. A record. All right, time to go to the next room and let's see. Wow, this is just pristinely left. To be honest, this room has some old things like furniture and some tiny things, but in general, the table and the chairs look quite modern. The pink walls, the huge red rock. China plates on the walls, like literally everywhere. Even behind the door, I see some. Have a look. <laughs> Wonderful marble stove over here. You can tell they've used the stove a lot. There are still traces of ash and also traces of burning right in the center. Actually in the inner side, on the iron plate, it's a knight's head with a lion on top. Still the tools for the fireplace. A shovel, another tiny shovel. Actually curious if there's also a bellows, but it seems to be not here. Hmm, what's this? I think it's a piece of art, but it's very detailed and it looks so mechanic. 
Look at the brush of Fella's hair. Wow. This used to be a zoom glass, but the glass itself is gone now. Oh, the mug over here with the eagle. Again, so well detailed. Well, one thing which I have not told you yet about the family is that the last residence definitely had children and also definitely multiple ones. You're gonna find a lot of children toys. Also over here, a baby chair. And that's always quite sad. To imagine these children are probably still alive. And if they grew older now, they probably do not have sufficient amounts of money to maintain the upkeep. Wow, look at this. This is overstuffed. Let's see if I can open this one too. I don't want to demolish it. No, I'm not going to do it. Have a look. The blue and white china plates over here. And a beautiful set of cutlery. And I'm pretty sure that this is some silverware. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Definitely looks like... There's a huge set. That's plenty of knives here. I'm sure they used to invite a lot of guests to their house too. And imagine... Back in the 17th or 18th century, when they were having guests inside of this place. It definitely was owned by a novel family one day. Grand curtains over here. Beautiful satin. And even more china wear. Actually a lot here on the table. And now comes the point when I really started thinking like, okay, we are in France. And I went scanning to all the documents. I will just show you this one, not go into too much detail, but this is a German letter. And the person's name was Marshall. This was actually a very informal letter. It seemed like this was from a, from a friend and it was about holiday. They ordered a lot of things on eBay as well. And everything was written in German. And then I found one note. And I cannot show you this unfortunately, but over here it says Vincent. And this is a very old note. And it was definitely dedicated to him because the name of the castle is on it. Anyways, let's continue. And actually you look at this table. With the two vases actually down beneath it. It's definitely some art deco. Well, some fake flowers and fake lemons over here too. A scale that looked like one of those older scales, but they made a modern one out of it, like they restored it. Still functioning. Wow. Look at the sides, it's actually snakes. There was also a crucifix inside. Candlelight holders. One thing I haven't showed you yet is I showed you the ground, the room, but also I should not forget to point out the ceiling. All the wooden bars which have been painted. And then we come to the center. And there is this very, very unique lamp. Have a look. Wow.
there's another huge wooden cabinet over here. Only look at the key. This key is huge. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Wow! This is still completely filled with food. And also some spices and all little things. It was all used to make up the table. So this was definitely the dining area I'm in now. I'm just gonna look at the bottom for the China ware. Oh, it seems Japanese or Chinese by the symbols. There's also something, no, there's still sugar cubes inside. <laughs> Over here are some bottles of liquor too. Okay, I cannot open the other one, but I'm trying to show you in the way you can see it the best. Yeah, let's see over here, the mugs hanging up. Also some other china plates, little ones, some towels. Yeah, this was definitely to make up the table make it look magnificent and welcoming to all the guests. Okay, now we're going to the next room. <laughs> Have a look. This is just magnificent. To be honest, we did a quick walk through to the place to check everything. I took some pictures and this is actually one of my favorite rooms in the place. It might not be the biggest room, but it tells a lot of stories. It's very tiny. There is a wonderful chandelier in the middle. And I just love how all the notes over there in the corner are still hanging up. But also the desk where they used to work. You can definitely tell a lot of time has been spent in the past inside of this room. And over here, actually, a giant fold. It's actually very heavy. Well, you can tell it's empty. It's just open from the top. Oh, this looks like a very, very old certificate. Oh, wow, we found this before. And those are actually copper lights, which used to stand on the train railways. I always really liked them. And somehow they like to collect them in the past. And then this over here. Look, it's a compass. And there is also some geometric dashes around it. It's actually from Paris, the capital of France. And I've never seen it, to be honest. It's the first time I see it now. Again, a wonderful, wonderful French castle stove. And look at the pipes, they are completely curved, all leading to the top. Well, the curtains. And then yet another fireplace. It's actually the similar one as in the other room, but then it's a little bit smaller. And yes, over here we go. We didn't find the bellows in the other one, but over here, carefully gonna try to grab it out, is the bellows. And for the people watching for the first time or not having seen a castle video by us, I will quickly explain how the device works. So over here used to be a fire back in the days. And then they would use it like this. Air would come outside right at the top here. And this would light up the fire by pumping air and oxygen into the fire of the fireplace. It's a very, very handy device. And you don't see it in the stores now anymore. It's definitely an antique. I think that's the family coat of arms. Well, here is one of those train lights on top of the fireplace. And then look at this wonderful mirror. Wow, just love it. Very, very special. Well, actually in the middle of 
the table was an old oil lamp. This was a bicycle you could bend in. A lot of telephone books here. The telephone also on top. And right over here, another telephone and yet another one. And yet another one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, the people uh, who lived there one day definitely did a lot of business calls here, I think. And important phone calls. Right over here in these notes, there is also a lot of numbers written. Some are from friends. And I think others are maybe from business partners. There is a large map over here. It's actually from a mountain area. Dated from 1827. Pont Royal, it is saying. To be honest, I don't know it, but I think it's in France. Then over here, still some receipts. And a lot of documents and files on the desk. There's even one of those quite old fashioned pens with ink. And yeah, you could just lay it inside if you not used it. What's this? Okay, it looks all very strange. But uh, I think this was chalk. And this was also used to make the stamps on top of the envelopes. You can tell over here, have a look. Still a part of it. Wow, this is properly old. And this is literally what I love. Just having almost a complete sort of museum, I want to call it, for yourself. You're in there to look, to wonder. You leave everything the way it is. And it's like walking back in time. Walking back in history in another century. And then it's my deepest pleasure to take you all with me on this adventure. Well, we still have a long way to go. Look at the spiral wooden staircase. And it's going all the way up to the other floors. All the pairs of shoes standing on the side. Still the last mud of the hike they made over here around the shoe sole. And then I will quickly show you this area. This was like a washing area where they did the laundry, amongst other things. I think that was a drying machine, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. To be honest, I don't know what this was. It looks like a fridge. Oh. Some pipes here, seems bamboo. Oh, and look at the press. They actually use this device to dry their clothes as well. And they would squeeze the clothes in between so the water would drip out and the clothes would get dry eventually. Also the drying racks. And over here, definitely some more modern devices. And would you actually believe me if I told you that the castle has probably been abandoned for only five years now? At least based on the last documents we found. It's strange, I mean. The first rooms I showed you were not that decayed, but further on in our exploration, we are definitely going to find more traces of dust 
and decay. Okay, so let's continue. Over here is actually a little in-between part. I'm curious what's inside of here. All right, mostly mechanic things. Still all the tools are hanging up and there is an awful dusty smell coming outside of it. So I'm gonna close it again. Vacuum cleaner on the ground here. Wow, it's a quite traditional sink over here. I find it so interesting how everything remains so untouched during the years. And we are one of the first people to be inside of here. I make a documentary on it. All the cobwebs in between. Over here, some acetone, some alcohol in these jars. Oh, look over here. It's actually quite funny. <laughs> the statue of a man holding a glass and a bottle. There's actually some other cabinets here. My gosh. How many plates, how many porcelain, how many chinaware? I mean, how many did these people own? Why would you need that much? Unless you had a very, very huge family and were having guests each and every week. My gosh. Unbelievable. It's still all completely filled. My gosh. So many glasses. Also some crystal glasses. Always really liked them. Well, as always, I told you we leave the places like we find them. So I'm gonna close the doors again. And one thing which took my interest and which I find very, very odd and also pretty scary is that over here, if I enter this tiny working part, there is actually still the electricity running. And that made me quite worried. You can now see the lights, the green lights and the red lights above. I sincerely hope that there will not be, get a fire inside of this place by the electricity which is still on. I'm not very, very knowledgeable about electricity, otherwise I would now literally turn it off. It smells very oily inside of here too. Well, this was definitely the power room. Over here also a lot of oil lamps, I think in case of emergency. Wow, look on top too. There is plenty. Over there a cloak wiper. Oh, the brush again, completely made out of feathers. It can't get any more traditional. Right now it's time to show you the hallway, which is right in front of me. Have a look at this. 
When I saw this for the first time, I could literally not believe my eyes. Because it's literally like they had to leave in a rush. They left everything behind, the tiny stings. There were so many bags over here. And so many hats too. Have a look. And over here, when people used to ring the doorbell, there would the noise be coming from. You can definitely tell the last residents were elderly. There was a lot of walking canes. Also, some other sticks. Wood for the fireplaces. Then there is a calendar from 1975. Over here, the keys are even still hanging here. That's what I mean with it seems that these people had to leave in a rush and they did not return ever since. The boots all still standing on the ground. It's actually too crazy for words. How can somebody just walk away from this and then just leaving it in this state? I sincerely hope that nothing bad happened with the last residence. Oh, wow, this is also nice. It's actually a bear tap. <laughs> and the bear was actually German. Well, even more power generators here. And they actually seem to be turned off. So then, it's time to show you the kitchen. Wow. Again, so many kitchen equipment, it's overstuffed. Probably keep on saying it. I don't want to be too repetitive, of course. But these people, they left everything behind. All the small things and even their family relics, which I find the most sad part. The memories, the pictures. Where a lot of pots. Old refrigerator from the brand Refrigidaire. Kettle pans over here. And again, the decorative ornamental china plates on the wall. Old iron. And actually, then have a look outside how overgrown it actually is. Vegetation is literally almost coming inside. It's a big contrast to see the untouched kitchen like this and then the vegetation outside. Over here, the buckets for the coal. It's all from the old stone ovens over here. The 
chin knees above. Man, literally all their kitchen equipment, tools, and just everyday items are still standing here. Well, I cannot open it properly, but you can tell there is plenty of cutlery inside. Also, there are some butcher's knives on the table. And then, have a look. Right over here, still, all the pans are hanging up where they belonged. <laughs> Even a set of gourmet over here. Yet a magnificent French clock. It's actually from Bordeaux, the south of France. Wow, well, look on top. At this device, I'm really thinking what it is, but I think it's a very old fashioned coffee grinder. And then over here, all these pots for the spices and also for tea, coffee and other things. Wow. Over here it's also still filled with food products. Some Kellogg's products. Some pasta, some herbs. actually a door and in French it's actually saying please close the door so I will definitely be closing it afterwards but let's see oh this was another kitchen part all right whoa okay well that door is closed now <laughs> have a look I think Back in the days, these people definitely had servants which were cooking for them, preparing their meals. They were definitely not doing it all by themselves because they were way too wealthy for that and it's definitely something back from these days. Wow. There's still a lot of confiture inside of all of these jars. Oh, and even some canned food over here. Man, there are so many jars. Have a look at this. Most of them are still filled. Well, we can also go to the left side over here. And I think this was another food storage. Yeah, have a look. Some pasta sauce. Some boxes for the eggs. Some rice also in these bags over here. Just hanging up. Everywhere around me there were things. I literally don't know where to look at in this place. But I'm one thing for sure and that is I can just spend 24 hours in this place and I would still not be bored. And I think that says enough all by itself. <laughs> Let's go back and we're gonna explore the other side now.
And if you are sitting in your chair right now watching this video and probably thinking, how can people walk away from this and leave it all behind? Well, likewise do I feel it's so utterly sad. There's people in the world who are not that wealthy and maybe are poor or hungry, starving hungry. And then there's people in the world who have that much money to just leave the property behind like this. Just do nothing with it. I mean, make a homeless shelter out of it, sell the antiques, give it a new purpose or just restore it back to its former glory. But often money is the issue and that's very sad. Castles like this often raise the awareness to me that life is not a permanent value. This was once one of the most important buildings in this French town. And now it just lies here, neglected and forgotten. And have a look at the beautiful, beautiful staircase and stair hall over here. A lot of books there. Wow, the mint green banister, the cobwebs in between, literally everywhere. My gosh, what a giant tapestry. But before I get too enthusiastic and I'm going upstairs, there is the other side I just told you about. And let's explore this side first. What's all of this over here? sure but I think those are some old photos oh look <laughs> wow some beautiful prints all of them actually like tiny glass plates inside all the documents over here it seems that they are dated from centuries ago okay I'm gonna just grab one out to give you an idea of what the documents actually look like I want to do this carefully for example this oh my gosh no way okay the first letter I literally grab it's dated from the year 1744 1744 No way You can still see the old stamp over here and Apparently back in these days there was a baron living here There's a very important person in that time And this was the person who was living inside of this castle. The Baron's name was Jean-Baptiste. At least that's the name which is on the letter here written. Okay, now I really want to grab another letter because this was totally unexpected. And yet I want to do it very, very carefully again. Let's see. No way. No way. This letter, it's from 1621. And this is literally dedicated to the people who live there. Have a look at the writing only. I cannot even relate what it's written there. I can speak a little French, but this is just unreadable. I cannot believe it, it's so well preserved. It's almost 400 years. 400 years. Okay, I'm not sure if this is real. But right over here, it's saying 1495. 1495. 
that's the half of a millennium. And <laughs> you probably heard that. Well, like you could also see in the intro, one of the clocks is still ticking inside of this place. Every half an hour and every hour, it's still ticking. It's so, so strange. Okay, well, you probably maybe think that it's getting boring now, but I really want to see one last letter. This one is from the 6th of January, 1632. Also dedicated again to the owner of the property. There is another folded letter inside. This is almost unreadable anymore. Well, let's just put the letters back where I found them. And then to imagine that all of the boxes over here are filled with these old documents. So I think one of the first people who was living here was a Boran. And then look at this room. Splendid, absolutely. Again, so much history to reveal. So this person actually passed away in Spain in 1773. And it's often the case that these novel families actually consist of a lot of family members, also in other European countries nearby. Neat cabinet here too. Let's see. Nah, it's not very stable. And again, I don't want to demolish it. Look at the print over here. All these cubes. And then on top of the cabinets, there's some radios. So they like listening to music, but have a look. I don't know who this person exactly was, but apparently he lived in 1693. He's holding a book and he looks like a judge. And then to imagine that these people were so important back in the days, they all had a relation with the past inhabitants of this castle. And right now they're Portraits are literally left neglected inside this abandoned place. And one of the only persons admiring it is me. And the other explorers who enter such places. Wow, again, a fireplace. Have a look at the beautiful ornate details on the wall. Also the candle holders. And the lamps. To be honest, this castle is definitely in my top list already. Wow. These portraits are so well detailed. The person who made them was so talented. I think this was part of a game. All these tiny pins were being used. Yeah, this was the game cabinet. Look, there are also a lot of card playing games here. The lamp. It's actually very thin material, almost paper. Wow. And another beautiful portrait here. To be honest, when I started doing this, I actually never believed or could have dreamed that such places like this exist. And now I'm literally walking here 
exploring it and having the place completely for my own. To wander through a different time period. Look at the portrait of the boy over here from 1872. Very sad that there is actually cracks already inside. Wow, this chair looks very, very comfortable. <laughs> My gosh. So luxurious. A high-end antique. Then the room continues over here, but a lot of chairs and tables have been placed there. Probably for storage. But have a look at the glass chandelier. My gosh. Wow. Also, part of a stove there. And these huge books. It's actually about French parks and gardens. Uh, but it's still closed. I'm keeping it like that, to be honest. However, I think I can open this one. Them huge stories. I even see the 11th century in here written and it's all about churches and religious things a game of checkers here it seemed that they really like to play games inside this room and yet another wonderful chandelier wow that's literally the only word i can say wow and then look over here at the golden mirror with some very, very gorgeous details on top. So much elegance. So then time has come. We're gonna enter the grand stairs over here. And are slowly gonna walk and make our way to the upper level. My gosh, there is yet another massive tapestry. Well, you actually hear the clock ticking. And that's actually this clock I was talking about. Still going to the left and to the right. Very neat grandfather clock. Also interesting how they painted all the flowers on top of them. And yet so many cobwebs. So sad to leave it just like this, unloved. So these tapestries were actually made by a Parisian artist. Some books on the ground here. Also over here, there is a sketch of a person. Oh, and then look, this definitely must have been a family ancestor. One of the family ancestors of the noble family tree. <laughs> Some giant taxidermy birds. Wow. This is literally like a stair hall out of a dream. And then we can actually go two directions. We can go to that side, or we can go towards this direction, following the very, very long red carpet. And it's gonna lead us to many more beautiful rooms.
right, so there is a cabinet over here. Let's have a look inside. Wow, look at this. Not only is some china, but look at the porcelain statue. Reading a book with a baby on top. Oh, it's actually losing. I was already thinking that's a very strange combination. Wow. Some religious artifacts over here. Looks like this was a priest. And over here, a person asking for sacrifice. There's actually some boxes over here. And if you remember it right, I told you about the children, that there are many children. And over here it's again just filled with toys. They've all been collected in the boxes and being stored there during the years. Actually, what's this? Over here are some very tiny sticks on top. I think this was a holder of something, but I'm trying to figure out what it exactly was. Yet I cannot really relate, so if anybody knows what the purpose of this was, then just leave it in the comment section with a time point and that would be very, very nice. So we're gonna enter the first room on this floor. Again, the stove with the abandoned pipes on top. Not a very, very beautiful one. Old coal stoves. You don't see them that much now anymore nowadays because most of them are converted into gas stoves or electric stoves. Look, there is another bellows. A little bit of different one than the one we found in the downstairs. And this is actually a very, very typical one like we often find them. Always on the end of the doors. In these religious families back in the days, there is a bucket which used to hold holy water. I'll firstly give you an overview of the room. It's quite messy at some points. And this is one of the only rooms which I think have been slightly vandalized. This definitely looks like it was used by the children. This actually was a house where they would play with some horses. There were also some horses over here on the sides with some wood burning art. That's how I actually related it. Again, wow, beautiful iron plate. And again, also the fireplace here with the candles on the sides. Have a look at this. It's actually some copper parts in between. They've been oxidizing and that's why they have a blue color. Also the tools are still there. And look, this was also a toy of a child. It was like a crane. Tiny bottle of liquor. Actually it looks like wine. It's from Medoc. A chateau in France. The glass is here. Thermal meter. Oh, there are so many books inside of here. There is some big books, but there is also some smaller ones here. And look, Briefe eines Unbekannten. That's not French, but yet that's German. Oh, this is actually sad. This is still a drawing of a child, which is just hanging in the inside of the cabinet over here. Also a doll on the ground. It's actually self-made. 
I think also by the child. Well, there is actually a wish card. Also in German it's saying um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Look over here. There's an old picture of all the childs. They had five childs in total and this was in 1928. Probably still the French family before the German residents actually took the castle over and started a new life here. Some very neat stuffed red furniture. Wow. Again, some books, but there is also many family pictures over here. Again, some holy water, it's still inside. Have a look. Over here we can see a man and a woman. I think on the right we can see the owner of the property and I think this was his mother. And then we can also see the same man over here together with his wife on their wedding day. Have a look. They look happily in love, both are smiling. And always is a big joy to see that people were so happily in love with each other. And then yet in contrast, it's very sad to see that nobody is taking care or caring about their place anymore. Over here, we can also see the three childs. A boy, a girl, and another girl. And Natas, this is from young, a little bit older. And then the boy was the oldest one of the childs. Have a look at the bed over here. No, there's again so many toys on the ground. It's all just being dumped and just smashed. Even the train over here with all the rails and the different parts. There's even Lego over here. Look. Chef Cook. I've actually never found Lego inside of an abandoned place. It's the first time. When I was a child, I really, really loved to play with Lego. Just be creative and build your own things. It's definitely giving and remembering me back to my childhood. It was definitely a very handsome man back in his days. Maybe this was one of the past donors. And then this was a picture of him when he was still younger. But things like this are always very hard to assume. You can only let your imagination run wild. But unfortunately finding a true story about what happened, who lived there and what the life exactly was back in the days it's almost just impossible to find out. All right, so let's continue in the hallway. Still have many rooms to go on this floor. Look over here, it's actually quite German. Wow, I already see a portrait over there. And this was yet another bedroom. What a large bed and oh so beautiful. I love its wooden shape and design. Oh, and this over here too, look. So it's actually like uh, to change your clothes behind it, like a screen. Almost in every single room there is a stove and most of them are similar. 
a white color, a similar pattern, an abandoned pipe. And I really like this bellows. It's almost like an accordion. The first time I see a bellows like this, to be honest. So in that case, I think it's quite rare to find a bellows in this shape. Well, the bed, and then on top of it, there's actually a large wooden crucifix with Jesus Christ. And over here, they could switch off the light when they were laying in the bed. Very, very handy. Also have a look at the wall print. It's so, so colorful. And then one of the family ancestors. Wow. No way. Is that really what I think it is? Okay, well, I will firstly show you this. There is also an old picture of a woman over here. And then sadly enough, this picture of a man. This photo has been, I think, fallen on the ground and eventually it has been smashed. But look at this. This is literally one of those old wigs you only see on the old portraits of the family ancestors sometimes. One of those old wigs you learn about during your history lessons in school. And now it's literally just here on the holder. This is absolutely crazy. My gosh. All right, I'm not even gonna touch it anymore. I think this is Truly, truly incredible. I've never, never found this. Wow. This castle is surprising me each and every more minute I'm inside and just go through everything. The vanity over here. Maybe once a day, the woman which is being displayed on the portrait there was sitting in front of it during her makeup and her brooming. This chair looks like it was for your shoes and then you could bend your laces over here. I think so at least. But again, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm definitely not a historian. I'm just a person who is very, very interested in seeing how people lived back in the days, in going back in history, and then just expanding my knowledge each and every time I enter a building again and reading the feedback of all of the people watching right now. No way. This wardrobe is still filled. Even all their ties, their gently suits and coats Everything is still there. Also a lot of leather shoes. Definitely all man clothes. Actually right behind here, there were some very, very old dictionaries. Most of them are from the 19th century, as I can see over here. Incredible, so many historic books. I just want to zoom in on the dictionary. Actually, it was one set, and each set started with a specific letter. So it went from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, K, all the way to T, up to one including Z. So still the complete set is present. And it was even a supplement. It's just left like it used to be. 
and I think a collector would definitely pay a lot of money for it. Well, over here again, the holy water. I really, really like this one. It's like an angel statue with a little baby. And then there is hanging a rosary on it. And before we exit the room, I just noticed this. This was a praying table. There were also a crucifix and some other religious things inside. And the people would normally kneel on this right over there with their knees back in the past. And then they would just be praying here around the table. So we still have quite some rooms to go. And I'm absolutely amazed by especially just the history inside this building. The decay is luckily not too severe, but the history is absolutely making me speechless. Wow. So this was another bedroom. And I think over there I see the most recent picture I've seen so far. They, those were probably the Germans, at least I think one of them was German. A man, a woman, and I think one of them, maybe a family member or maybe a friend. And this was definitely inside the castle, look! Over here, the mirror. You can see there were a lot of guests, it was probably on a specific event. You can also see the similar curtains. You can really get an imagination of what the property used to look like when it was still livable and not being neglected like it is now. Some wood. Over there a crucifix. <laughs> look at this. Okay, well. I just needed to do that. <laughs> the temptation was too big. Oh, some hair. That's very strange. Those are real human hair. Okay, I will just leave it. I don't have a very comfortable feeling with touching it or moving it. Well, over here they actually had a door. And then there was a sink and a mirror. Very, very smooth how they actually used to hide this with the doors. And have a look at the spirals and the bendings in this pipe over here. I've never seen this with a stove, but apparently almost all these stoves have it. And then you can also imagine yourself how hard it would be to keep a place in this size, just nice and warm, especially in the winter times. It's not only the renovation costs, but also when you want to make it livable, just all the gas, water and electricity. Some Renaissance ornaments and a beautiful painting there, made in the wall. Wow, one of those old man heads. Well, this definitely belonged to an important person. No way. Look. A lot of paint. I think they also definitely love to do painting. So many tiny tubes. Actually, in a cigar box. Well, and then over here, there's actually another wardrobe. Even more ties over there. A lot of hats, so definitely some vintage hats to round the shape on top, like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> I actually have similar. <laughs> 
and the downside. Also, all their shoes still there. I literally don't know where to look. I mean, there are so many things I can point out in the room. And of course, I'm always a little bit struggling because I really want to give you the experience I have seeing every little thing. And on the other hand, I don't want the video to be too long that you will get bored watching. But look at the painting here. Again, so beautiful. Just please leave your opinion in the comment section right now about what do you think about the length of the videos. Do you think it's a good thing that I show many details or would you prefer more of an overview video just walking through the rooms and less of the details? Because I always think that you find most of the story and most of the most special things hidden while searching and seeking for them. gonna walk on. I think these tubes were for water as there is also a sink over here. Water is turned off. This was definitely all for their cleaning. Okay so right now I can go three ways. I can go to the left, straight forward, or to the right. I'm just gonna head straight forward first. <laughs> Immediately I enter another bedroom, which just gives you a wow feeling. Very warm flower wall prints, beautiful mirror. Over here also a cabinet. Then over here was again a fireplace. I think I counted around six, maybe seven fireplaces already. Also around eight stoves or something. I really like the vase over here and especially the mirror. So well detailed. Over here we can see many more family ancestors. You can tell what a big and important family they had, how many relatives and what a huge family tree. And it's strange how there is a fireplace and right next to it there is also a stove. And 
And then over here, this bucket was actually holding the wood for the fireplace. Now I'm starting to think. Those were wood stoves, I think, not coal stoves. Because there were so many piles of wood everywhere. I think they ran on wood. But just please leave it again down in the comment section. Look over here, the curtains. Those curtains were actually leading us to a child bedroom with a very small one person bed. Oh, look at the chairs. They more have like a, a Spanish Portuguese design. Interesting. Again, there is yet another crucifix over here. And have a look. The sink with the mirror right above it. And this looks quite modern to me. Even the towel is still hanging up there. These people must have left in a hurry. And like I mentioned before, I really hope if they're still alive that they're okay and living a peaceful life. And let's go to the next room, which was on the left side. Oh, right over here immediately a sewing machine. And not a singer, but this is a puff. The cover is on top. It seems to be stuck. The sewing machine is still there, but I think it's locked on this side. Yeah, there is a lock. So unfortunately I cannot reveal the cover of it. Where again? A beautiful French clock. There used to be a table down beneath there. But now there's just a lot of towels and everything on top. Maybe this was a part which was used by the servants. Another stove, traces of mold, wallpaper starting to peel off as well. Oh, and look on top. Those were some sleighs. So you can tell in the winter times that there used to be a lot of snow in this area. And considering the fact that they had many children, they love to go in the nature and go sleighing. And then this room was attached to a bathroom. Some wipes over here. Look at the sides and all the tiles. Wow. Then the bed top with the shower and the rounded curtain. That's absolutely incredible. Have a look. Tiny bidet here on the ground. Some cleaning products. And literally everything is still standing here. The toothbrush, but also the toothpaste. Like everything. Batteries not working anymore. I really cannot get my mind strained around it. Well then on the right side, where I was talking about, there is actually the other part of the spiral staircase going yet again one level up. But we are not finished yet on this floor. We still have the other side to go with a few rooms. And I really want to show this to you first so you have a logic sequence of my exploration and the way 
I walk through the building so you can get a little bit of an orientation of how the rooms are directed and located. I'm in the main stair hall again and yet on this side we can continue there is again a stuffed bird on top and actually have a look over here it looks like this table has folding yeah you can bend it open and it's I think this was for card playing games or poker maybe And over here, there is also a beautiful secretary desk. Again, many different compartments, but they seem to be empty. There's also this little bust. Looks like it was from a child. So let's enter this area. There's another wide staircase going up. Radiator. Wow, another grandfather clock. I always love finding them. And in contrast to the other one, this one is not ticking anymore, guys. Have a look. Looks like it stopped ticking already several years ago. Very comfortable chair, also stuffed on these sides. Behind this door, there is a bathroom, but I'm gonna walk around and then you're gonna see it afterwards. Oh, I think this was, this is also called Jean Baptiste. He was the chef from the army, from France and from Egypt. Look at this over here. What a creation. Wow, actually have a look at the ceiling. Oh, and then over there. <laughs> That's a large goose, or whatever it might be. <laughs> oh, we're behind the door. Wow, that's actually a very, very beautiful portrait. I think it's one of my favorite ones, but unfortunately it's not in a very good condition anymore. It looks so, so realistic. No way! Okay, have a look right in front of me right now. If this is not... A royal looking toilet anymore. I don't know it anymore, guys. I mean, <laughs> have a look at this. I'm not gonna show the inside, but you could bend it open. You would have the toilet and it's like a throne, a wooden throne you will be sitting on. Over here, some napkins. <laughs> also the sink. I've never seen this. I've seen quite a few castles right now, but a castle like this, with this toilet, over here you could flush the toilet. Nah, this, this is unique. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And then right over here follows yet another bedroom. And this one was very, very large. 
There was even a sitting corner where you could have a cup of tea or a nice glass of liquor. As over here is the bed. With again a crucifix on top. And it's literally built inside of the walls. And another fireplace and another stove right next to it. And then look again from this perspective how the bed is made in. And then the doors on the both sides. Very, very neatly done. Some very luxurious chairs, sadly enough. They've been eaten by insects, been decaying in time. And they've been very, very damaged. Oh, there is actually again another portrait there on the ground. And like you can also see on the overview shot, right over there is another one. Two women who again had a relation with the noble family tree. I mean, there's again so many details over here. If you really start focusing on all the details, it's literally incredible how somebody could even think about making and creating something like this back in the past. Well, then we continue and look at this part of clothing. There is again another wardrobe where all the clothes are left behind. Oh. This one is broken, it almost fell down. It actually pretty, pretty shocked me. Well, in that case, I'm just leaving the other side. Wow. So much to see. And yet over here, was actually where the one door was, which I told you. And this was the bathroom attached to the other bedroom. So I think that bedroom was owned by an important person. Look over here in the shaft. A lot of medicine inside. Even the sponge and the soap are still there, right above the dirty bathtub. And even the bathroom was featuring a stove. <laughs> and a fireplace. Oh, this is so well detailed. Look, like a little cabinet with all tiny ornaments. And over here it was just filled with matches. All boxes filled with matches. Some perfume bottles over here. And then there is a calendar from 1971. So I can walk up this staircase, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk back to where I ended on the other point. So there we are again. Now it's finally time to go to one of the last floors. And first thing I immediately notice is that there's again many books in the shelf. Over here, a part of a clock. And actually over here I saw another part. Ah, 
have a look. It's literally like an attic part with some storage of all old things. You never know what you can find on these floors. Well, some cutlery. Where is scale? Hmm. Not very interesting, to be honest. You can actually also go up here. I'm not going there because it's literally like a maze of spider webs. I'm not willing to get my head covered in them because I still need to explore the whole day. And that would not be very, very plausible. Oh, <laughs> look, there's a bucket which is full of walnuts. Some heavy decay over there. Most of the times the attic parts are in the worst state because they are not being well maintained and they're just for storage. Telephone there and this looks like something which used to be in a church. Well, actually a pretty simple bedroom. I'm starting to think that maybe some of these bedrooms which we are going to find on this floor were part of the servant quarters. Definitely centuries ago. It's not normal uh, anymore nowadays to have servants in that way working for you, unless you're the king of a country or the president maybe. <laughs> Because look over here, I think it makes sense. Those were all like different draws. They all had their own number. So maybe it was for the servant, 11, nine. They could just put their stuff inside. Then the numbers were to indicate from who the stuff was. No. We only found these ones one time before. The very, very old fashioned roller skates with the wooden tires. Have a look. Those are the very, very first roller skates. <laughs> Absolutely amazing to find this. Over here, the laces. Wow, such a surprise. I'm gonna leave it here. And furthermore, actually not very much in this room. Looks like this barrel used to hold wine with a little tap, a rosary. I think this was for a diseased person who passed away in 1883. This was to remember her. Oh, and actually look over there. There was a bicycle. Looks like it was from a child. Over here are even more of these drawers with different numbers. Well, this definitely was a storage room. Some covers of old portraits. Right next to it, we can even go one other level up. Let's do that in the very, very last. A fire hose over here. What's that on the ground? Looks like a case. No way. It's a violin. Wow. This is probably a very, very old violin. 
and still to be honest it's in a decent shape well these strings still some of them are there but they've been broken but the case itself is often broken when you find it in an abandoned building wow that was a surprise my gosh still in the original case absolutely unbelievable <laughs> We keep on finding treasures. We keep on finding treasures, guys. And I really hope you're enjoying the adventure with me. So again, we have two rooms next to each other. Looks like they had quite the same purpose, same window as well. Just start off on the left side. Some boots inside of the box. Some boots over here. Oh yeah, this was a bedroom. But again, the bed being made inside of the wall. Probably has been a children's room. There's also a children book over here, like a story for bedtime. Oh, look at this device. I'm not completely certain about it, but I think it had to do something with electricity. You can also see the wires over here. Like a little generator or something with anode and cathode. I think it was something like that. Then over here is a sketch of a boy from 1973. Definitely the last residence. Flashlight. Well, look for the more you can tell. It's a little bit messy. That's still, everything is there. Even some old telephones inside of the box here. Actually a lot of telephones in this place. Look over here as well. A telephone again. I think they definitely collect the telephones. Because we found plenty a lot. There, yet again, telephone, yeah. And this, oh have a look. This is actually broken, but this was like a pipe for smoking. Two foxes on top of it. It's a very, very special one. One of the most unique pipes I've seen. Also in a specific case for it. And then the wardrobe, still containing their clothes. And everything in the same color of army green. I think the person to whom this room belonged, light green. Then the other room, next door. There was a bag. Doesn't look that old. <laughs> look at that. That's funny. <laughs> Probably got to blur it out. But those are actually some breasts, like something you will give to a friend for fun when he's having his birthday. <laughs> oh look, a gray presser. Wow, great. And then yet this was again the same bedroom, similar style and similarly arranged, yet it's a little bit more messy. Looks like people have went in search of valuables through all the stuff. And then even in this room, of course, a fireplace cannot be missed. 
Also some ornaments on top. Like wooden horses. Over here some stones. What's this? Very heavy. Ooh. I think it's definitely something historic. It's written a number in it. 2156. Maybe something they found, they digged up, like a bomb or something, from the war. Could be the case. Carefully gonna lay it back. All right, time to go to the few last rooms. Firstly, there was yet another cabinet. What? Damn. My gosh, look at these books. They're all about science. My gosh, complete collection. They are properly old. Most of them are from the 15th and the 16th century. It is saying right over here. This is all some truly, truly old paperwork. It needs to be restored, just put in a museum. Even some encyclopedias, like, my gosh. That's unbelievable, really. Over here, the sofa. Side of this cabinet. Also a lot of lecture and reading material but nothing very historic. Well, yet over here, another bedroom, two sleigh beds, typical French, a stove. Oh, and some children clothes. So this was the children's room. Over here, which was also saying on the key that like a tiny note that was saying that this is the key from the room of the children, then far in French. And yeah, over here you can see it. All the children toys, utterly sad. Why would they not make another child happy with it? There is also an abacus here. Very, very sad. So we're nearing the end point of the video. Those are the other stairs where I could go up. So now I reach that point as well. The chests. Ah, oh, it's locked. Can't open it. Another attic part for some storage and a lot of drying lines for the laundry. And then over here, yet another bedroom. So many. So the family was definitely very big, but some of the bedrooms we found were also definitely for servants. And then ultimately, we're gonna walk up the stairs to the very, very last floor. And for all the people who have been sticking around, making it to this point of the video, I really wanna thank you all. Please hit the thumbs up already if you enjoyed the adventure so far. And let's see which mysteries and secrets are waiting for us on this floor. A lot of tiny books here. Quite spacious attic. A letter. Again, in general, a lot of children items.
Also over here is some albums and a lot of files on the ground. Oh, and look over here. Wow, okay. That's, I think, the best find on this attic. Over there, the chalkboard. And then all the old school seats over here. Wow. That's properly old. Over here they could lay their pens and pencils. Over here the pot of ink would lay inside. Why is it on the attic? Her pupils really educated right over here. And this is actually no normal wallpaper, but this is very rare to find and very, very old as well. This was cloth wall covering and we only found it one time before, maybe two times. And one time was in the abandoned Da Vinci mansion. There will be a link right up here in case you haven't seen that place. That was also a very, very beautiful place. Fortunately, it's now being inhabited by a squatter and no urbex is so welcome anymore. Look, the cloth wall covering is slowly, slowly coming off. Also eating my insects. Very, very sad to see. I'm literally lost for words. What a place this was. Right now I'm standing here in front. This was such an adventure and I loved it until the very last second. And I really hope you did as well. And if you did guys, I took so much time to film this place. We were inside for eight hours, I think. If you could appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button. You can subscribe to our channel right down below. Also ring the bell notification button. And then as always, I want to send you much love, peace and blessings. And we will see you on the next adventure. Bye bye.